Hello, welcome to the lovely minute. What a fine day, what a lovely day. I never really had an intention to have this as a separate segment, but I was just so, you know, amazed and blown away on how this bass line was, uh, you know, not really perfectly executed, but smoothly executed. So, um, this is actually part of the Round the Island uh, video that I'll be making later on. And um, yeah, uh, while I saw this video, when I was trying to review and reviewing all those clips that I had, I said like, wow, this one is a pretty nice uh, bass lining. And I think it's just about time for me to just have a segment and try to see and let you guys understand what bass lines. Well, for those guys who are just basically new to cycling, yeah, I'm pretty much new. So there are a couple of bass lines when it comes to cycling. And what we are doing right now, or what we're, we just did, is basically what we call the straight line or the single line, um, bass line. Bass line is basically, it, it's a lovely thing. I mean, like, it allows a group of cyclists to share effort and move more quickly than a single rider. So you get to share effort, you know, you get to rest when you're behind. And it's actually a formation, you know, double or single, you share the work. So. I'm done with my pull now. Red is doing the job, followed by um, Lito Maldito, Glenn, and we've got Entong who's on bright orange. So that's my guy. That's my cue. So a bit of uh, etiquette when it comes to to pace lining, or probably joining in the group. First one is don't jump into a group pace line without asking. If you're a solo rider and you've seen a pace line, please don't jump into the wheel of those guys who are, who are, who are doing the pace line, ask for permission. I mean, like, you know, once the permission is acknowledged and, you know, they say, yeah, come and join us, then that's the time you, you, you join. Be careful when blowing one's nose, man. I get to experience this a lot. You know, when you clear your throat, when you, when you, you know, blow your nose, please be careful. You know, you're riding on a high pace. Just imagine what the guys behind you might, you know, might feel and might experience. And don't wear headphones in a pace line. That's one thing. Well, you'll never know um, if there's any sudden change, shout, or noise. But there are bone conductor headline, headphones right now that are pretty, pretty nice. But I would suggest, you know, if you're in a pace line, just don't wear it yet. And then wear it when you're when you're in solo riding. Um, Calmly call and point out obstacles. That's one thing. If you're riding in front, there's no need to shout. All you have to do is just focus in front of what's going on, and just if there's any obstacles, potholes, or whatever it is that you need to avoid, just point them for for the people behind you to be aware and where to put their their front wheel. So if you are if you are on aero bars, or probably if you do have aero bars, or if you're a tri bike, um, please don't don't ride on them. I mean, like if you're on a tri bike, there's probably be on on the drop bar or in the base bar please don't do on, on on the aero bar because it's 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 pretty dangerous um pace line is an active uh, kind of uh, dynamic kind of way of really sharing efforts and taking turns and if you're on aero bar you might be having a hard time adjusting to sudden stops and sudden changes of lanes or whatever so if you're unable to pull through you know, please do right at the back, you know, have some rest, um, you know, just take it easy and, and recover, you know, and with you, you fully recovered, that's the time you pull, that's the time you can join back the rotation, and that's what they call, they call ghosting, you know, I'm just going to stay behind you, I'll just probably be a ghost, just don't mind me, I'm trying to recover, and when you're, when you're fully recovered, then that's the time you, you take a pull, now I'm doing the pull, You've seen before, uh, that's, uh, that was Entong who did the pull and it's my turn. The moment he peeled off and flicks that, that elbow, then that's the, the, the sign that it's my turn. So right in the straight line. So number one thing is, is please do avoid overlapping of wheels. Rule number one in group riding, protect the front wheel. No overlapping, no half wheeling, it's pretty dangerous. Please avoid abrupt braking as well when trying to control your speed. So gradual. That's why you have to look ahead. 
for you to analyze and understand what obstacles and what probability might happen if things might you know go wrong and all those things so when riding in front yeah um, look for hazards look for obstacles you know so that you can anticipate and guide the entire uh, peloton so again uh, Entong is in front of me so I always know my line I always know who's the person in front of me so only ride close to the riders in front of you that you feel safe so notice that some guys they do ride probably an inch two inches close but in my case I don't really react that quickly so I maintain the safe distance that I consider um, comfortable that if there's any um, changes in lane sudden sudden um, you know uh, speed change or whatever I can adjust and I can always go to the safe side so watch for road hazard look ahead um, look at the um, don't don't focus on the rear wheel of the person in front of you you know you might lose the sense of being in the in the, in the situation um, when your turn in front is done just like what Entong you'll see that later on he flexes his, his elbow that's what you call the chicken wing um, if you guys have agreed to maintain the pace around 40 40 ish then if you feel like you're dragging the pace down slowing the pace down flick your elbow flick your elbow take time to rest stay at the back recover and then giving you the the the, the, the opportunity to pull again later on so yep know your pace line uh, know the pace line and you have to know the play your place in the line so you know you has been riding in front of you in the rotation so as I've mentioned earlier it's Entong's always in front of me and I always get to see Entong and the moment he flicks his hello it's my it's my turn so just to keep it you know smooth and you know you're, you're having fun the key to pace lining is actually um, conserving effort and um, having fun you know it's it's a lot safer um, and the moment you if it's your turn to pull if it's you know if it's your turn to be in front that's what you call pool please don't search don't search um, maintain this steady pace this isn't a time for you to accelerate and drop the rest of the guys behind you you're not in a race you're just basically having fun taking turns you know conserving energy especially if it's gonna be a long ride so yep that's the lovely pace line in TMCR with these lovely guys so we've got Red, Glenn, Lito, Maldito, and we've got Entong. So, yep, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. What a lovely pace line. What a lovely day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button. So you will be updated for every upload that I make. So this has been the lovely minute. See ya. Ciao.